Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now these questions, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this episode, I will point you in the direction for some more in-depth videos if you're interested. The focus this week is, drum roll, equation editor. All right, world changers, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here's your problem of the week. So go ahead and read it carefully, pause the video and try to solve it on your own and then press play when you're ready to check your work. All right, awesome, welcome back. Now let's go ahead and solve it. So it says, find the product of 12 and four, a relatively simple problem as long as you know what the word product means. What does it mean to find the product? Yeah, it means that we need to find the total when we do which operation? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Multiply, right? So the product is the total when we multiply, just taking down some notes there. So we need to multiply 12 times four to figure out what the product is. To find the product of 12 and four, you could either draw 12 groups of four, you could draw an array with 12 going down and four in each row. You could repeatedly add four 12 times or 12 four times. The strategy that I'm going to use to solve this problem is to use the distributive property of multiplication. Now the distributive property of multiplication is when you break one factor down, that's distributive. So I need to choose which factor I would like to break down. I could break down the 12 or I could break down the four. And I think what I'm going to do is actually break down the 12. Now you could have, again, you could have used a bunch of different strategies here. I'm going to break down the 12 into 10 because that's an easier factor to solve and two. Two plus 10 or 10 plus two equals 12. So I'm breaking down 12 into 10 and two. So that means that we're going to do 10 times four, the other factor, 10 times four plus we're going to add the two, two times four two times four. Okay, so 10 times four. What is 10 times four? It's 40, right? So 10 times four can be solved as 40. And then two times four, well, when we are multiplying by two, we're just doubling the other factor. So four doubled would be eight, right? And now we add those two together. So 40 plus eight equals 48. Now that is how I chose to solve it using the distributive property of multiplication. Okay, now that's great. We've, we've worked it out over to the side. We're remembering that we're using this as a tool to practice for the fast test. So what I need to do is actually, if this were a computerized test, I would select the four, I would select the eight over here, and it would input the answer right up there. Okay, and to the equation editor tool. So that's how you could solve this problem. Take down any notes that you still need to take down and then let's close out this video. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You've got to throw down your best effort each and every time. And you know that I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers.